chemistry. In previous lessons, I have to cover it up to metal carbonate chemistry. Okay, so we have discussed those metal carbonates in introduction, bonding, spectra, as well as everything that was discussed in the like previous classes. Now, I would like to explain the like a metal carbon chemistry. Metal carbon chemistry. We can prepare the metal carbons from metal carbonates like different different types of metals with alkyl groups. Okay, we can prepare the different different type of metal carbons. Now, before going to the complete lecture about uh, metal carbons, we have to like we have to aware about uh, the basic introduction of carbon. Okay, so we know that carbon is a type of intermediate that has been the like electronically deficient species. Okay, now we have so this is the like a uh, carbon. So carbon is nothing but it is a divalent species. Divalent species. Okay. So divalent species, according to the actor configuration, here it, it having the only six electrons. That's why it is electronically deficient species. Electronically deficient species. Okay. So electronically deficient. So there is no positive charge or uh, like negative charge or radical charge. That's why it is a neutral electrophile. It is nothing but a deficiency means uh, electrophiles, so there is no charge, that's why simply it is called as a neutral electrophile. So simply the carbon intermediate can be defined as divalent, electronically deficient and neutral electrophile. So these are the characteristics of uh, carbon groups. Okay, so generally carbon it exists in two spin states. One is the single carbon and another one is the triplet carbon. So carbon having the uh, pair of electrons. If those both electrons uh, both electrons align in the opposite way, so that is the single carbon. If both align in the parallel way, that is the triplet carbon. So it existed at two types. So one is the single, based on the spin multiplicity. So another one is the triplet. Another one is the triplet. So if carbon, so here it is the like the sp2 hybridization. Okay, so R or this is the sp2 hybridization. These three are the sp2 hybridization. This is the empty orbital. Okay, so this hybrid orbital it having the two electrons with opposite spin. Okay, so both the spins are cancelled to each other. That's why according to the spin multiplicity, zero plus one, it is the singlet carbon. So this is an example of singlet carbon. Now the hybridization is the sp2. So if hybridization is sp2, the molecular shape is like the only two species. That's why it is a bent shape. Bent or angular shape. Bent or angular shape. So if there is no unpaired electron, that means uh, so it is an diamagnetic species. If any unpaired electron is there, there is paramagnetic. So there is no uh, unpaired electron, that's why it is diamagnetic. If any system it, uh, it, it possesses with a diamagnetic property, those are ESR inactive species. ESR means electron spin resonance spectra inactive species. So these are the ESR inactive. So these are the characteristics of the single carbon. So in the same way, like we have discussed about a, like, triplet carbon. Triplet carbon. So here it, it occurs only like sp hybridization. Sp hybridization. But uh, plenty of the books uh, they are doing, it is also sp2 hybridization. Okay. So I, I would like to go through the very strong book. That's why it is the hybridization is sp. Hybridization is sp. Then shape of the molecule is linear. Okay, so here hybridization is sp, but two electrons are there. Those two electrons are occupied in two different orbitals. So that's why both are having this similar spin. So two orbital electrons are there. So along with uh, according to the n plus one rule, two plus one three, so it gets the triplet configuration. It gets the triplet configuration. So that's why two orbital electrons are there. It possesses with a paramagnetic property. Paramagnetic property. If at least one orbital electron is present, that molecule shows ESR activity. Electron spin resonance activity. So this is the basic information related to the carbon. Okay. Now let's move on to the like a metal carbon, metal carbon things. Okay. So whenever these carbon, these divalent species, which is connected to the metal, simply it is called as like a, here it having the two electrons. Those two electrons are shared with metal in the form of double bond. It shown it like this. So this is the metal carbon chemistry. Okay. So it happens in plenty of reactions. So simply it is called as metal carbon. Metal carbon chemistry. Okay, so we have discussed about uh, 
those metal carbonates the synthesis and the properties of metal carbonates and the difference of metal carbonates okay so how to differentiate with uh, those uh, those classification of metal carbonates okay so first of all metal carbonates uh, it was uh, synthesized by the fissure in fissure so that's why so those kind of uh, metal carbonates are called as uh, fissure carbonates those kind of carbonates are called as fissure carbonates after 10 years so it was modified as a like a nucleophilic uh, metal carbonates uh, that is nothing but a shock that is nothing but shock carbons so in this class we are mainly focused on the like a synthesis of a metal like a fissure carbons and the shock carbons so two types of carbons are there so one is the fissure carbon and another one is the shock carbon shock carbon so two types of carbons are there so before going to the those two types of carbon so if carbon it is connected to the metal atom then it is called as metal carbon okay however the carbon which is connected to the metal atom so either in the form of singlet state or in the form of triplet state we don't know okay so whether it is a singlet carbon or it is a triplet carbon we don't know about uh, those are spin multiplicity of metal atom when uh, those are spin multiplicity of carbon atom whenever it is attached to the metal so that's why i give the very simple trick to find the whether it is a singlet or a uh, triplet so uh, i give the very simple tricks okay you can find those tricks okay so the first thing so metal first of all before going to the trick uh, i'll explain very simple thing so here it is the carbon so that carbon having the vacant orbital when it is having the vacant orbital so whenever it is in the singlet formation so it is the vacant orbital so here it is the carbon okay so whenever the carbon it having the vacant orbital that means uh, it is in the singlet state so it accepts the electrons in the form of back bonding from metal it accepts the electrons in the form of back bonding that means if any system it accepts the electron that's why it is called as electrophile so this carbon is called as electrophile so singlet carbon carbon act as electrophile are you clear no i I'll repeat it in a sentence. Okay, so this is the carbon. So carbon is in the form of singlet carbon, like a singlet state. Singlet means uh, so two uh, two electrons uh, two electrons present in the same uh, sp two hybrid orbital. One vacant p orbital is present. So those vacant p orbital it accepts the electron cloud in the form of back bonding from metal atom. That indicates so here the system it uh, accepts the electron pair. That is nothing but electrophilic nature. That is nothing but electrophilic nature. So that's why singlet carbon carbon. Clearly, singlet carbon carbon act as electrophile. So that is the first thing. So whenever in case of triplet carbon, so metal. So here it is the triplet carbon. Okay. So here, if it is a, uh, it is shared with the metal atom. So the it cannot uh, share. It cannot form the like metal back bonding. Why? Right? Because it having the already one electron. Okay. If any empty orbital is present, then it is possible to accept the electron cloud from the metal atom, and it forms the uh, like back bonding bonds. Back bonding that is nothing but synergistic bond. So here already one electron is present in the p orbital. That's why it cannot accept the electrons from metal. So that's why it is non-existent. Like uh, these kind of uh, these kind of systems. Okay. So these kind of uh, like electrophilic carbon system does not exist. So that's why metal carbon. So here carbon having the partially negative charge. And metal have only partial positive charge. Partial positive charge. Why? Because it cannot accept the electron cloud. That indicates. So here it it is uh, with the uh, like a more electronically rich nature. Electronically rich nature. That's why it is the negative charge. It is partially positive charge. If carbon with the negative charge, that acts as nucleophile. So here triplet carbon carbon. Triplet carbon carbon act as nucleophile. Singlet carbon carbon act as nucleophile. Very simple thing. So singlet carbon can act as electrophile and triplet carbon carbon act as nucleophile. So however, the second thing, this is the first thing. Now the second thing. So if carbon system it having the electro atom as an adjacent one. Okay. So if carbon system it having the electro atom. Electro atom means here any OR group is there. Okay. So here it is the R group. So this is the carbon. Let's imagine. Okay. So let's imagine. So here if it is a vacant orbital. So oxygen means uh, more electron atom means that means it having the a lone pair of electrons, lone pair of electrons, whether in the whether in the oxygen or nitrogen, whatever the electron atom is present, that electron atom it having the pair of electrons, lone pair of electrons. So the lone pair of electrons indicates it is electronically rich compound. 
Okay, if electronically rich compound is present, that electronically rich compound bonded with electrons, sorry, not bonded with electrons, it shared with the vacant orbital of carbon. It shared with the vacant orbital of carbon. So when it is shared, so if it is existed as singlet carbon, if it existed as singlet carbon. Now I will repeat it my sentence. So if any atom atom is present, that atom atom having the lone pair of electrons, those lone pair of electrons should share with it the empty P orbital of carbon carbon, empty P orbital of carbon carbon, then it forms the like a strong body. Then it forms the strong body. Okay, when it is possible, whenever it existed as a singlet carbon, then it having the vacant P orbital. That's why it shown the like strong bonding between the hetero atom and the vacant P orbital of carbon carbon orbital. Carbon carbon orbital. That's why if any any carbon it having the adjacent hetero atom that uh, it existed as a singlet carbon only. So that is the single single state. So if any carbon it having the like uh, it having the hetero atom adjacent to the carbon, so then it existed as a singlet carbon. Then it existed as singlet carbon. It is clear. Okay. So this is the like basic introduction. How to find the whether it is a singlet carbon or a triplet carbon. Okay. So now I will use very simple example. So here H H methyl methyl like a ethyl methyl O methyl H. So among the four, among the four, which one is a singlet carbon? Which one is the singlet carbon? So here this carbon having the hetero atom. That's why this carbon has act as a singlet one. This carbon act as singlet one. But in this triplet one, so this this kind of possibility, this kind of bonding interaction is not possible. So that's why triplet carbon cannot uh, cannot stabilizes with adjacent hetero atoms. But uh, singlet carbon it can stabilizes with adjacent hetero atoms. Okay. So this is the overall basic introduction about uh, like uh, carbon chemistry. Now let's move on to the synthesis of uh, Fischer carbon. Short carbon. I think it is very clear. Okay. Now let's move on to the like synthesis of a Fischer and a short carbons. Okay. Now let's move on to the synthesis of a Fischer carbon. So how to synthesize the Fischer carbon? So this is the first one, metal carbon synthesis. Okay. So very simple thing. So whenever metal carbonize, metal carbonize. Okay. So hexa coordinated metal carbonize. It is treated with a, like a argonal lithium reagents. It produces the like a, some oxy anion intermediate. It produces the some oxy anion intermediate. So that oxy anion was captured by the methyl group with the, with the help of diazomethane or like a high methyl tetrafluoroborate, okay. So, like a tetrafluoroborate or sometimes a methyl sulfonyl fluoride. So, these kind of so these three, these three act as methylating acids. These three reagents act as methylating acids. Methylating acids. So, whenever the oxy anion which is captured the methyl group from like a diazomethane or a Trimethoxy, uh, like a tetrafluoroborate, or methoxy fluorosulfonate. Okay, so these kind of materials it produces our desired metal carbons. It produces our desired metal carbons. So this is the synthesis of a Fischer carbon. This is the synthesis method of Fischer carbon. Now I'll explain those synthesis uh, like a pin by pin to pin, very clear. Now let's move on to the like a very synthetic part, right? very simple synthetic part. So here metal. Carbon. So these are the remaining five carbons. So whenever organo lithium reagents R minus Li plus. So this is the organo lithium reagent. So that organo lithium reagent it acts as a nucleophile. So here it attacks the like electrophilic center of carbon monoxide. Yeah, carbon monoxide. Yeah. Then it forms the like metal C double bond O. Um, why because so here the, the like uh, oxygen it having the three bonds then it existed as a positive charge whenever it is attached to the like a carbon atom then the bond of the electrons will shift towards the oxygen atom so then it gives the negative charge and negative and positive will becomes neutralized so this is the complex so this is the complex okay so here 
the, this metal atom, which is uh, surrounded by the, like all the type of uh, pi acceptor, like all the carbonate compounds. So metal with positive charge, metal is very lower charge. But whenever it is uh, surrounded by the like uh, all the carbonyl ligands, all the carbonyl ligands, those carbonyl ligands, it shared, it sends the pair of electrons to the metal atom. So then the metal becomes electronically rich. Then metal becomes electronically rich. Those electronically richness cannot bear by the metal atom. That's why it returns into the like adjacent to the ligand atom. That is called back bonding or synergistic effect. Okay, so then it sends the uh, like overcrowding of electrons and it existed as so this is the resonance form. Okay, so it existed as oxy O minus. Okay, now here is CO, 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 CO. I think it is very clear. So metal is very positive charge, so that means very lower in the size. So that lower charge, lower size, surrounded by the all the type of uh, like six ligands. Those six ligands share the pair of electrons to the metal atom. Here, the metal it having the like more number of electrons. That means more electronically cloud. So that excess of electron cloud it cannot bear by the metal atom. That's why it returns it to the ligand atom. That is called back bonding or synergistic effect. So due to that back bonding, it forms the these kind of So this is the resonance form. This is the resonance form. So whenever it it appears as oxyanion, that oxyanion which captured the metal group either in the form of a, like a BF4, these kind of ligand. So here oxygen has the uh, like more than two forms that, that indicates here is the oxonium ion. That oxonium ion it, it gives the methyl group. So it produces the metal double bond O methyl. So here it is the R group. So here it is the double bond. So CO, 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 CO. So this is the like a metal carbon. No need to represent this thing. So this is the like a metal carbon. Metal carbon means uh, so metal which is attached to the carbon in double bond form. In double bond form. So this is the method to synthesize the Fischer carbon. This is the method to synthesize the Fischer carbon. Okay, okay. So this is the method to synthesize the like a Fischer carbon. Okay, not only trimethyl like trimethyl oxonium tetrafluoroborate. So sometimes uh, like diazomethane CH2, which is mentioned in the Yamu equation, CH2 N2. So that indicates uh, like CH2 N triple bond N. Yeah. So here it is the positive charge, here negative charge. Okay, so this is the diazomethane which can which abstract the proton, which abstract the proton from another mole, from another mole of diazomethane, and it existed as. CH3 N triple bond N plus N triple bond N plus. Now here also it gives the methyl ion. It gives the methyl group. So that's why it is it attacks the methyl. It attacks the methyl. Uh, it captures the methyl. Some other third ligand here also it produces the methyl group. So those oxy ion it captures the methyl and it forms the O methoxy group. O methoxy group. So this is the way to synthesize the fission carbon. Now until it is very clear. But uh, I have some doubts. Okay, so Fischer carbon, whether it is a singlet carbon or triplet carbon. First thing. Okay, so Fischer carbon carbon, whether it acts as electrophile or nucleophile, we don't know. Okay, now the third thing. So Fischer carbon carbon, whether it is electronically deficient or electronically rich, we don't know. Okay, so all the Fischer, Fischer carbon carbon which is attached to the like Fischer carbon metal which is attached to the pi acceptor ligand or non pi acceptor ligand, we don't know. Okay. So all the things was explained by the uh, like a final observation of a final product, a final observation of final product. So simply, so first of all, so metal carbon. So this is the metal carbon. So that carbon which is bound by the tetraatom. Okay. So according to our uh, like a starting discussion, if any tetraatom which is contained by the metal carbon, then it exists as a singlet carbon. Okay. So this is the features of uh, Fischer carbon. So it existed as singlet carbon. So this is the first feature. Okay, so singlet carbon, like a Fischer carbon. Now it is Fischer carbon. No? Fischer carbon carbon, carbon carbon, act as electrophile. Is it clear or not? Electrophile. Fischer carbon carbon act as electrophile. So Fischer carbon carbon, it accepts the electron prime from the metal atom in the form of back bonding. That indicates here it is the electronically deficient species. Okay, so Fischer carbon carbon is electronically deficient. This is our previous year's CSF question. Okay, so 
deficient carbon carbon that it is electronically rich compound or deficient compound this is our previous year see is there question okay now the fourth thing now the fourth thing so whether it is a singlet or uh, like it is a singlet carbon it is already discussed now the fourth thing okay now the fourth one fisher carbon fisher carbon always in the like low oxidation state fisher carbon sorry fission fisher metal always in exist in low oxidation state low oxidation state okay so again the fifth point fisher carbon having the fisher like a fisher organo metal simply fisher metal carb metal carbon fisher metal carbon having pi acceptor ligands pi acceptor ligands so single structure it gives the more information whenever you go through the like a content oriented class so it will it will be very helpful for your like a future examination even in the theoretical form also okay so the first thing it is a fisher carbon is a single carbon now the second thing fisher carbon carbon act as electrophile uh, like electrophile Third thing, Fisher carbon carbon is electronically deficient. That's why it is electronically. These two are the like interlinked question. Again, Fisher metal like Fisher carbon, Fisher metal carbon metal, it always existed in the low oxidation state. Why? Because so it is surrounded by the all the nuclear ions. So that's why it, it always existed in the low oxidation state. It is zero or plus one. And this we are discussing about very really, like a zero case, zero case one. Now the Fisher metal low oxidation state. Now find one. Fisher metal carbon it having the like pi acceptor ligands only. So here carbonyl compounds are pi acceptor. Very good pi acceptor ligands. We know that according to our previous classes. Okay. So that's why. So Fisher carbon it having the only pi acceptor ligands. Pi acceptor ligands. Again Fisher carbon. Fisher carbon obeys sometimes it obeys each electron group. So that is also another point. It may be like might be asked in the future or like future examination. Okay. Fisher carbon it obeys the eighteen electron group. Again, another thing, another seventh point. Fisher carbon carbon Fisher carbon carbon stabilized by the heteroatoms. It is very clear. Fisher carbon carbon which is stabilized by the heteroatoms. That's why it exists as a single carbon. So these are the features of Fisher carbon. I think it is very clear. Okay. So I don't want to repeat it uh, like more many more times. If you need uh, like uh, if you If you are not a cl uh, clarity about the features of Fisher carbon, you can uh, go through the like previous videos. Okay. Now let's move on to the another example in Fisher carbon. Another example in Fisher carbon. Again, before going to that, uh, so here I I could not represent the metals. Okay. Generally, Fisher carbon it is uh, formed with uh, like middle of the transition stage, uh, transition series, middle of the transition series, like uh, many of the chromium, molybdenum, like tungsten. So these exist in the Fisher carbon. Okay, so here we can uh, replace the metal group with chromium, or metal group with molybdenum, or metal group with tungsten. So this is the way to uh, synthesize the like Fisher carbon. I think it is very clear. Now let's move on to the some other additional examples of Fisher carbon. Some other additional examples of Fisher carbon. Let's say some other like very really important compounds. So simply here it is the like a acyl chloride with alkyl chloride. Okay, so both are the same state. So whenever it is treated with a, like a chromium pentacarbonyl system. So here K2 mix. So the chromium is having two negative charges. Those two negative charges was a, a like a neutralized by the two potassium positive charges. Two potassium positive charges. Now what is the major problem? Whether it forms the Fisher carbon or not. Okay, now let's move on to the like uh, reaction mechanism. So C R here it having the two minuses. So C O five H. Those two minuses was uh, like neutralized by the potassium under the previous discussion. Okay, so here it is the acyl chloride, alkyl alkyl chloride. So among these two, acyl chloride is more reactive towards the nuclear one. We know that. Okay, so that's why right. the negative charge attack over there. Then like first of all. It, it shifted towards the O minus. Then O minus it returns sent back by the electrons towards the carbon atom. Then it eliminates the C R minus. Then it eliminates the C R minus. It forms the like a chromium carbon electrophile compound C. Okay. 
So here along with only one only one negative charge, only one negative charge, CO5. Okay, so here that negative charge can participate the like a resonance form. It existed as a negative oxy anion. It existed as oxy anion according to our uh, previous example also. Okay, so that oxy anion will attack the like uh, alkyl halide and it forms the cyclic carbon. So Cr. So here it forms the metal carbon double bond. So here it is attached with oxygen. So then it is attached with three carbons. Very clear. Okay. So here one, two, three, four, five. Five more carbon. So five number cyclic. Four, five. Very clear. Okay. So this is the chromium carbon along with the two bonds. That is nothing but metal carbon system. That is nothing but metal carbon system. It is very clear. Okay. So this is the way synthesis of uh, like uh, cyclic carbon systems also. Cyclic carbon systems also. Before going to the short carbon, here carbon, whether it is short or fissure, it doesn't matter. So the carbon carbon it donates a paper to the electron model. It acts as simply to the electron model. Okay, so which is already discussed in our eight level one count methods. Okay, now let's move on to the synthesis and the features of the short carbons. Synthesis and the, its characteristic features of the short carbons. Let's move on to the like a uh, shark carbon. Shark carbon. Okay, so after the discovery of the Fisher carbon, after the later 10 years, it was a discovery. It was discovered. So the main uh, differentiation between the Fisher and shark carbon is in Fisher carbon, carbon carbon acts as electrophile, but here it acts as a nucleophile. That is the major difference. Okay, now uh, let's move on to the like, synthesis of a uh, shark carbon. Alkyl group, three alkyl groups along with uh, two chromines. So here it is the metal is a tetanion. Metal is area of the transition metals. Area of the transition metals. It was treated with uh, two moles of lithium along with uh, like a neopentane along with neopentane. Now what will happen? So here neopentane means all of the methyl groups CH3, CH3, CH3. Okay, so this is the neopentane. So whenever two moles of lithium which is treated with uh, methyl, so here also it is also two moles. Okay, so whenever uh, no need, so here lithium metal which is treated with methyl group, it forms the like CH2 lithium, CH2 lithium. So it creates the one negative charge on the carbon atom. Again, second mole of lithium, it creates the another negative charge on the carbon atom. Okay, so the first negative charge will attach the titanium metal and eliminates the like a chloride and eliminates the chloride. Now here it forms the titanium, like here this is the CH2 group. Okay, so now the remaining the remaining things are same. Okay, we are going to okay. okay, now the second mole of lithium it can convert the like a CH2 group into CH minus. So that minus charge it forms the titanium carbon double bond and it eliminates the another chlorine atom and it forms the titanium CH. Okay, so the remaining one of the lithium are same. The remaining one of the other groups are. Same. It forms the like a titanium carbon carbon. So simply, so this carbon is called as like a short carbon. So these kind of carbons are called as short carbon. Short carbon. Okay. So now the major like, differentiation between the short that is nothing but the features of the short carbon we have discussed. Them. Okay. So simple features of short carbon. Features. So the first thing. Okay. So here all the groups are alkyl groups. In case of alkyls and hydrogen. That carbon it acts as a triplet carbon. Okay, so here shark carbon is a triplet carbon. So simple thing. So Fischer carbon is a singular, shark carbon is a triplet. Now here, 
Now, triplet carbon connecting it, sir. Your carbon carbon triplet means it is electronically rich compound. It cannot accept the electron pair from the metal atom. So that's why it is electronically rich compound. Electronically rich compound. Which which one? Short carbon carbon. Short carbon carbon. Electronically rich. So this is also previous year question. Previous year three year question. Now the third one. So short carbon carbon. It acts as a nuclear. It acts as nuclear. In previous case, so the fission carbon carbon acts as electrophile, but here it acts as nuclear. Now uh, another, the fourth one is so short carbon carbon, short carbon metal carbon, like short metal carbon, like metal in short metal carbon metal having high oxidation state should be in high oxidation state. High oxidation states. Should be high oxidation states. In previous cases, so the oxidation state of a metal in fissure carbon is low, but here the oxidation state of a metal in short carbon is very high. So oxidation state is very high. Now another point is like a, no, so short short carbon carbon like a short carbon sorry. Okay, now shark, shark, metal carbon having non pi donor ligands, non pi donor ligands, non pi donor ligands. Uh, again, so another thing is it cannot obey, it can't obey 8 electron, it can't obey 8 electron. So these are the major features of shark carbon. Okay, the major difference is. So fission carbon is a single carbon, but shark is a triplet. So fission carbon carbon acts as electrophile, shark carbon carbon acts as a nucleophile. So fission carbon carbon is electronically deficient, but the shark is electronically rich. Okay. So these two statements which is given in the previous year's question. As usually, fission carbon metal is low in oxidation state, but the shark carbon metal having should be in high oxidation state. Okay. Again, fission carbon carbon stabilizes by the hetero atoms. But uh, uh, short carbons cannot stabilize by the electro atoms. Okay. Fischer carbon, like a fischer metal carbon complex, having the like a pi acceptor ligands. But uh, short met uh, metal carbon complexes, it does not have the pi acceptor ligands. It having only non pi acceptor like uh, alkyl groups. Okay. So fischer carbon, it is uh, stabilizes by the like mid mid the mid of the transition metal metal atoms. Mid of the transition metal metal atoms. But uh, short carbon, it existed at the early of the transition metals like titanium. So those kind of uh, early of the transition metals. Okay. If early of the transition metal is present, that is the short carbon. So middle of the transition metal like a chromium, molybdenum, tungsten is present. That is the fissure carbon. I think it is very clear. Okay. So in this session, we are discussed. We are completely discussed about uh, like uh, fissure and short carbons. In the next video, I have to discuss the properties of fissure carbon and short carbon. Again, some previous layer of CSI questions. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.